my name is Alexander Della. I'm from Puki, and I try to explain a bit of, about our work in La Fluff in Puki. It's a simple way. Why the simple way? Just because I'm an engineer, so I have to keep thinking simple because sometimes simple is the fast way to achieve some results. So my outline from this presentation is just to explain what problem I'm solving, what my possible solutions, what approach we get, the experience, experimental setup for the, the solution, talk a little bit about the equilibrium the solution and precipitation, and talk about my, my, the model I use and the results and conclusions. So, we are talking a lot about carbonates of rocks. I'm just taking an example of, of the type of rocks we use. We use Indiana limestones. This is a reference core used for this experiment. They are a very reactive rock. We use an environment with high salinity. It's the, to simulate the, the reservoir conditions and CO2 solubility. So when we talk about reactivity of rock, this is before we start the experiment. This is after we start the experiment. So you see you can get a lot of the solutions from just because we inject CO2, high salinity water with CO2. As said before, if the, if you if you have some dissolution, you get some precipitation in some place. So sometimes you get the precipitation inside the rock. Sometimes you get this, the precipitation inside the lines in the experiment. So in this particular case, one one point two meters of the line was clutched with carbonate. We had took a little bit more than a day to unclog this because all the carbonate just precipitated in the line. So, what are, what, why are we trying to solve this kind of problem? There we have a lot of solutions already in the market. We have commercial simulator, Gen, Star, a workband. We have open pores, source medium, like the ball for Syntef. And then we have another, another kind of software developed just for the chemical equilibrium. Our choice was used to use the fleet and they tell me why. Because just because the cost of the stars and the gen you say for a small laboratory as ours, that's not so easy to get this kind of license. Freak is very, very simple to implement the solution and they have a full compatibility with MATLAB and you have the Puki uh, license, wide license for MATLAB. So MATLAB for the us laboratory is free and we have this is the main solution for use the freak. The main purpose to use the freak. It's very the, the further stood we try to implement it, it's fractant absorption and nanoparticle transportations. So the main goal for this problem is to try to set the geochemical equilibrium right. And of course, is as an university you have to get the academic and the that propose. So what do you do with the freak and the MATLAB? We get the MATLAB to solve the transport equations, and you get the freak inside the MATLAB group to make the calculations. When I say let the freak do the calculations, the freak will solve the mineral react kinetic reactions, the activity coefficient estimation, and the distribution of chemical species. So, what do we approach this? At first, we get the experimental data from car lab the, from the flow, call flow the experiment. Then, the, then we try to simulate with with freak at the same conditions. Use the, the freak as as a calculation equilibrium inside the MATLAB. Use the freak model and at the end try to compare what's happening. So. For everyone who does not know what the core flow system we are talking about, this is a kind of system we use. It's a very big oven. We have two kind of pumps here. Inside, we have three piston cells, and you can keep the, the, the solutions we are pumping. Here, you have the core holder. You just, it's a, a very, very large reactor flow to get the results. So, experiment setup. We, we struggle a little bit to get to something with the same permeability, to don't have problem with the permeability. And the first one, you use a tracer as lithium tracers to get what the flow is working and get some results to, to start the simulations. 
and then we get the water flowed with the reactions. This is the composition with the formation water be practically baked with the with the rock with the, the core hold the, the core flow, and this is the, the composition what the what they are injecting. So at the first step we are at the uh, at the beginning the rock is empty, so we have to just pump it with this, some kind of fluid. We at the beginning the, the tracer we don't no no lithium at all, and then we pump. We inject uh, lithium to see what's happened and swipe sweep again to brine with no lithium and see the, the distortion. For water flow, we start to do the equilibrium with formation water and then sweep, so change for the brine to see the, the change. So for the, dis the dissolution and precipitation, we are, we are talking a lot about carbonates, so I don't think it's, we need so much introduction from this, but the, the important part we are here we have calcium carbonate and magnesium carbonate, just the main components from uh, limestone. So what you, what you do, we assume they are not achieved the equilibrium, you use the kinetic, kinetic rates from Lagasse just to get the calculations and this, the, what you have to pay attention in this in this in this equation is this point of here, the area of the minerals and the activity of the, the H plus ion. We are talking about it a little bit later. And for the freak, our approach was do the buff reaction with the freak. Assume some the, the two main assumptions we have to do with freak is the, the Davis approach for spatial calculations, so I'm saying that I have to use uh, a generalization from the, for for uh, spatial activity coefficient from the by Huckel, and you use the Pink Hobbs equation to, to calculate the solubility. Then once once you get this this cal the previous calculation done, you can transport it for the to get the results. The first, the first, the first, you have two different, very different conditions. This is the tracer, and this is the water flow. So, to get these things, uh, the most easy way I have to uh, find the number that cell can sol solve the two, two cases. So, for the match lab, use the the 1D transport 200 cell. The same conditions. This is a very simple approach. Uh, find a different approach, and we don't keep. Anything complex in math is just looking for the, what's happening with the chemistry. So this is a, a, a stability correct criterion and the bound condition just to keep the, the flow it's done. So what we do with the MATLAB to make this guy, these calculations? We start the conditions. We make use the freak to get the best <coughs> reaction and the the, the 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 first equilibrium between the rock and the water formations. Then we start the transport into, into every step of this transport. I use the freak to make the calculation with the kinetic approach, and then at the end we just get the results. So let's see what's what's the results show. This is a lithium tracer and the core flow. The first test we use to characterize the flow, to character do, to characterize the flow and the radiation time, because. We assume the lithium that no no absorption in the core and no reaction at all. So just used to see what's happened. This lithium was characterized determined by solar spectrometry and the ECP at the lab. So then our next approach is see if you are assumption of diffuse the uh, the uh, solve the equation with diffusion with not with not diffusion. It's some okay, have some kind of difference here. You can see it's more or less the same results for with diffusion, with not diffusion. So you can choose what we have to, to, to what you need to, to match the results. We choose with not diffusion just to keep the, the thing simple and we try to match these results. Even with the tests, we see we can get a, <coughs> real, a good agreement at the beginning, but at the end it's not work so good because the the heterogeneity of the, the sample is, is even the with the petrophysical data is still not correct enough to, to get the, the 
the things done with this simple, this simple model. So this is our composition for the output for the, the core. So we measure with the ion chromatography with what is going on. And this it start with the the concentration of, of formation what in equilibrium and then go down at the brine with inlet in, in go inject the core. So this is the the comparison for the for the, the these results using the freak model and the mass lab model. So we can see at the beginning we have some kind of weird <coughs> stuff going on here at the ends. At the, we can guess what's happening because in the beginning we are using Dave's equation. In the Dave's equations, maybe not be a good approximation for that the high salinity. So the next step is to change this for a Fizen model to get the uh, activity coefficient in the better condition to found this, this results. At the end, we, we are trying to change the mineral surface area to match this, and we saw if you implemented some some kind of function function to change the mineral area, you can get much better results. For the magnesium, we get the same problem at the beginning, but because the, 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 the literature conditions for the, the equations was the better choice for the magnesium. So uh, at, at the, we try to extrapolate our results. We, we, we use we try to comparison, the comparing the the result at second degree and eighth degree to see if we get any difference. At match lab, you don't see any difference, any difference at all. So we use. We try to compare the, the results with MATLAB and FIC to see if it's still matching. If we have a good agreement and we are uh, we satisfied with this with the simple model can achieve. So what my conclusions? The core analysis was still a good tool to get this job done. The lithium tracing it's a it's a powerful tool to get data, simple data for the flow. And the 1D, 1D model, the the both the, the, the both changes are capable to get the, the change. The both models is capable to get the change. The resulting 80 degrees at the it's more more or less the temperature at the reservoir, which suitable to the first approach, and the, to improve what the MATLAB or what the MATLAB can do where we incorporate the mineral superficial area and the solubility of the CO2.